By now, most of us are aware of the COVID-19 virus pandemic that is sweeping the globe. And like other large-scale political, social, or in this case, biological events, a whole litany of conspiracy theories have emerged in the wake of the coronavirus outbreak. This virus is a biological weapon. It has been created by the USA. This is, of course, nothing new. In the aftermath of the HIV AIDS epidemic, for instance, a conspiracy known as AIDS denialism took root in the United States and in South Africa, which claimed that the AIDS virus was created by the US government, the pharmaceutical industry, or vaccines. More recently, the 2009 H1N1 influenza pandemic, as well as the 2015 Zika virus outbreak were also clouded by conspiracies. These conspiracy theories, and similar others, fall under the broader umbrella of medical mistrust, a type of generalized, unfounded fear of Western medicine. And predictably, the current coronavirus pandemic is already becoming subject of conspiratorial narratives on both ends of the political spectrum. So what is a virus? Scientists think that most colds are caused by extremely small microorganisms called viruses. Viruses, and there are many different kinds of them, can be scattered with each particle of saliva and mucus. In this short video, I'd like to briefly explore some of the cognitive errors that are present in conspiracy thinking and how to identify them with the aim of becoming a more informed consumer of news and information. Number one, need for cognitive closure. NFCC, as it is sometimes abbreviated, is the tendency of people to reduce ambiguity and avoid uncertainty. When presented with ambiguous or uncertain information, individuals with high NFCC tend to seize and freeze information that is readily available, regardless if this information is reliable or not. Number two, biased attribution of intentionality is another type of cognitive error, which highlights how some conspiracy prone people will seek intentionality when there is in fact none. This concept relates closely to the idea of a quote, powerful other, such as world governments, multinational corporations, or powerful individuals, which, in the minds of the conspiracy theorists, have complete control over all situations and events. The powerful other concept is present in almost all conspiracy theories, ranging from the JFK assassination to 9-11. The need for uniqueness is defined as the quote, need or desire to be reasonably different from others, end quote. People who believe in conspiracy theories can feel special, like they have some kind of secret knowledge that sets them apart from everyone else. The need for uniqueness allows people to feel more informed than others regarding important social or political topics. Finally, conspiracy thinking is oftentimes harmful, laced with paranoia and lack of interpersonal trust, and is more often than not completely bogus. The need for cognitive closure, biased attribution of intentionality, and the need for uniqueness are but some, although not all, of the cognitive biases and errors researched throughout the psychology literature. If you're interested in more information, please feel free to contact me on social media. All the information presented in this video comes from my 2019 PhD dissertation titled Emergence of Conspiratorial Ideas and Big Data, a Google Ngram Viewer Quantitative Analysis of Historical Trends from 1900 to 2008. Thanks for watching.